welcome back to my channel so i kind of wanted to do a little sit down video for you guys um i feel like i haven't gotten the chance to just sit down and do a get to know me video so i'm kind of gonna just jump right into it and start talking about me and a little bit about my life more than you guys see on my day-to-day -day vlogs um so obviously my name is ashley i am 26 and i just moved to texas about a little less than a year ago um it'll be a year in july end of july um we are as you guys know if you follow along we are looking for a new apartment to live in um, for the end of july obviously we are super early for um the availability for that time but we have a lot going on um up until that point so we kind of need to have an answer by may and we will not be in texas for that decision so we we're searching now so we can kind of get a jump on deciding when we are back home in new york so with that being said i am from new york um my boyfriend and i are both from there we moved to texas um because he got a job here and we love it so far obviously it was very hard to leave because it is just us two here alone um you know we both miss our families at home um but with circumstances in new york as far as living situations um a lot of the factors were just not adding up for us so we decided to move like i said we've been here a little less than a year and um it's definitely been an adjustment so when i first came here obviously i left my teaching job in new york so i was a special education teacher there and i left um to come here and i started looking for jobs um, unfortunately the pay here in texas is not nearly as much as new york so i kind of put a little break on searching for a teaching job and with that comes along with um, the traveling factor you know we're always traveling back and forth to new york to other states um so it really just didn't work out where i could have a, a teaching job because i wouldn't be able to do that as much as um we would like i personally would rather see family um just personal preference because you know, obviously we're so far away from them but a job does not really matter to me as much as that matters to me i started looking into other jobs as far as receptionist positions just something more flexible where i can leave um and there is a little more flexibility to the work schedule and life and time off and stuff like that i started looking for those jobs and i came across a couple but i've always been um into fashion and home decor and all that fun stuff so when i was back in new york i really didn't have the space and content for a youtube channel and once i moved here i decided to go ahead and start my youtube channel obviously my boyfriend was a huge supporter in that sense because i really didn't have the confidence to get in front of a camera and start speaking um obviously i started off with my iphone i started recording on my iphone i was so lucky enough to be gifted a canon camera from him um, he got me the canon um, eos in case you're wondering i always have it linked in the description below i could not be more grateful for that because 
it just took my youtube videos to a whole other level but it's really okay to start your youtube channel with an iphone because everyone is uh, doing the same thing everyone starts at that same point obviously i build my confidence just getting in front of the camera um, and just talking and just you know hearing my own voice it takes time to get used to and all that fun stuff but i really just love to share my outfit inspirations i love to share my home decor like design and style that's something that i've always been into so i also started to boost my instagram posting the so overall my instagram is more fashion based um, i share my everyday ootds if you do not follow me already definitely go check out my instagram channel it is the same username as youtube and i show everything on there fashion um day-to-day -day life but on here i pretty much show everything um so it's just like a mixture of things i also am really into home decor like i was saying so getting back to the job situation we were searching for apartments and we went to one specific apartment complex and the leasing consultant that works at one of them offered me a job right on the spot and it's always been something that I've thought about but never really considered but my boyfriend has always told me that this would be like the perfect job for me um, and I didn't really think about it until he was saying it and then we actually went and went on different tours of the apartments and we spoke to the girl who offered me the job and I thought about it more and more and I was like, I could really see myself doing this. So that is something that I'm probably going to consider um, once we make that uh, move to a different apartment just because we have so much going on up until that point. Like I was saying, it is really hard for me to start a job right now, um, but I... I'm looking forward to getting back into that like nine to five schedule of course my schedule was eight to three so a little bit earlier um, but the nine to five is really nice and I never worked Saturdays before and with this job you will work Saturdays you definitely have a solid Sunday off every weekend which is nice um, but there are a lot more perks and benefits that come along with this job versus being a uh, school teacher especially in texas so i am definitely looking forward to that the most um i think it'll just keep me busy and i get to enjoy you know a steady income and it'll be nice to just be like a nine to five girly again aside from me i really want to grow my audience here on youtube instagram tiktok um i was considering making a podcast and i would be thrilled to know if you guys would be interested in listening to a podcast so definitely leave a comment down below if you would listen and what you would like to hear me talk about i was considering this for a while but I just wanted a solid base of what I would be talking about before I started a podcast and I think the help from you guys would really help me out as well. I really wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching my channel. It really helps when you guys like my videos and leave comments on them so I just get a feel for what you guys are interested in. I have been in my pink era as you can see. I've been posting a lot of spring outfit inspirations over on my Instagram. If you guys do want to go and check those out. Um, a previous vlog that we had plans to go to Florida. We were going to go to Rosemary Beach in May but things just didn't work out. Um, so we are not going and we're going to extend our trip to New York. For two weeks we have some fun things going on there that I will share with you guys as well um, and then 
uh, hopefully within the next few months we will find an apartment and I will share with you guys all of that fun stuff as well and then afterwards we just kind of want to settle in the new place that we will love our apartment here is just has gone downhill so much um, we feel like we left in I want to say early December and we were gone for like six weeks because we were in New York we went to Savannah um, my boyfriend was in Japan for work so um, we noticed when we came back that there was a huge change and just the overall place um, we realized that they switched over management and that has a lot to do with the consistency of a apartment complex so it's just time for us to go we've noticed a lot has changed and there are certain things that we're not comfortable with here anyways that is my rant on our terrible apartment complex but that was a little get to know me just wanted to fill you guys in quickly because I kind of just jumped right into the vlogs and just sharing everything with you guys but I wanted to dive deeper into why we're here in Texas what made us move are we happy where are our next moves so um, definitely excited to share all of the future vlogs with you guys and really um explore new places for us where we love doing that and we are really considering a dog we want a little french bulldog so bad um but i don't think it's in our cards right now because we have so much going on we're moving and i think it's hard when you're in an apartment complex especially being on like the fourth floor so we need something a little more low-key and a little more spacious for a dog so not sure when the cards will be right for us with that but we love looking at videos of french bulldogs and i'm sure everyone can agree with me that they are just the cutest little things so that may be in the future vlog but we will keep you guys updated and just want to say thank you so so much for watching um, I have a few videos coming soon. I want to share with you guys like a little vacation pack with me. I think that'll be fun just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration on what to bring with you on a tropical vacation. Um, personally, I want to go on one, so I want to share a video with you guys for that. And summertime is coming, so I just think it's really appropriate, um, even if you're just going to the beach or pool near you, um, it will apply to all.
so it is the next day it is monday i shared over on instagram um, my little decorating for easter i don't really have a lot of things to decorate my apartment with um for easter it's just like never been that big of a holiday um for us so I just got like simple things and I don't really have a lot of space in this apartment necessarily um, for decorating like there's not many decorating spots because it's a little bit smaller of an area than we used to have um, as far as like the living room and kitchen space um, just for decorating purposes um, wanted to share with you guys I did a little Easter sign there that is from Marshalls obviously from Marshalls I have one over here too and then this little Easter bunny is also from Marshalls and then I just have this little trick that says happy Easter so a little update on my face it is healing um i think it was the tide detergent that i actually switched to um so i can wash my like bedding in it but i can't wash my pillowcases in it um so i had to buy the gain detergent and then use that um and i have seen like a lot of my face clearing up um it's also like 90 degrees today so i'm hoping that with the weather being a lot warmer like my face is gonna just um glow up at some point i do love the drunk elephant um bronzing serum i have it on right now and it looks so good it makes your face like so glowy and it really gives you a nice um tint to your face instead of putting like so much bronzing powder on which is really nice and it's really affordable it's like i think like this big um, i don't remember the exact price but it takes me a while to go through it because i just need a little bit um, and a little bit goes a long way i went to pop shelf and then i went to target because i had a return which i mentioned in my last vlog but i didn't end up getting to it so i decided to do that today um i wanted to just share with you guys things that i picked up so first we're going to start off with pop shelf obviously i stopped at starbucks and then i just kind of like picked up things that i've been needing and like restocked on so obviously my favorite chin-up mask i got this towel um to wash my face with because i don't want to use my good towels um my medication like topical medication for my face stains the towels like a pink color and it's pretty disgusting so i just want to keep one solid towel for just my face wash purposes this scent oh my gosh like smells amazing um i actually had it in like a body cream for our guest when they were here and then i tried some after and i just loved it so much so if you have a pop shelf near you i don't know why this is not focusing hold on let me see hello there we go okay so this is the fragrance mist and i love the way that coconut like smells on me so i definitely um, we'll be using that soon. I also picked up the body scrub because I love putting on a body scrub before I shave. Speaking of shaving, I picked up my um, razors from there. These pack of four were $2. Like seriously so good. This one was a little bit more expensive because it is the sensitive skin one. So you only get two and it was for $6. It's really not so bad but it's a little pricey i picked up this little scrub it's like a loofah um 
because I really enjoy just like putting on the body scrub with one of these. It just feels nicer. These are like my favorite go-to scrubs to use for dishwashing. They're only a dollar. So if you find these at your local pop shelf or somewhere similar, definitely pick them up because they work so good. They last so long. Of course, I had to pick up a little green pen. This is just... Sorry, I don't know why it's not focusing so much. Let's see. All right, anyways, this is just the Paper Mate. Oh, there we go. This is just the Paper Mate um, gel pen. Love those. Had to pick up some more all purpose cleaner. I went with a different scent this time. This is the Pink Grapefruit. So I'm excited to try that one. I love the scents that I have for my little um, unstoppable, like, um, they're like little balls that go into your um, washing machine when you do your wash. I don't know what they're called exactly, but this is the same um, fragrance. I got it specifically for our uh, couch and like carpet because the couch kind of starts to get like a scent after a while so I wanted to spray that every now and then we needed some more hand soap in our bathroom so I don't know if I'm going to keep this bottle or just swap it out but this scent smelled amazing picked up some um, shampoo and conditioner I've used this in the past and love the smell of it so I got it again because they were only $3 each. I also picked up some uh, Boom Chicka Pop. I love this kettle corn flavoring. So uh, this was like 2 or $3, I think. And I think it's like a really good healthy snack. I've been craving popcorn lately. So I wanted to pick that up to snack on. But yeah, so this is all the things that I got from Pop Shelf. Now moving on to Target. So... I honestly went there for a return and then obviously you know what happens when you return something you obviously go and buy some more stuff <laughs> so hold me i'm just trying to see if there's a way that i could show you guys this dress better so i picked up this like muscle tank um striped dress i really love the way that muscle tanks look on me so i thought this dress would be really cute just to throw on during the summer to run errands in and just feel like nice and cool and you could also wear it as like a cover-up i just think it was really good priced for the quality of the dress too it's a very like thick material and i got it in a size small and it was $15, so I thought that was really affordable. And I like how it's like a bodycon dress. I also picked up these Bare um, But Better Kiss Press-On Nails. Actually, they're glue-on nails, but I saw these were recommended from a few YouTubers, influencers, um, to start using instead of getting your nails done. They're kind of similar to the color I have on, just a little bit darker, and then you can kind of shape them into like an almond shape. But these were only $8, which is such a good price. Um, apparently they last really long, like two weeks. So I'm going to give it a shot, and I'll let you guys know how they end up turning out. But I also saw that Kelly Strack on youtube has like a full-on tutorial of how to apply these so i'm going to watch that and definitely recommend watching her video um so you guys can see how she puts them on these are the long size and typically i don't get the long size but i just wanted um, them long enough that i could shape them into like an almond shape i also picked up this scented candle this is like my favorite scent um that target has i think this brand is project 62 they make really good scented candles and this one's only five dollars so i plan on putting this into my bathroom because the one i have in there is running low and then i picked up this beautiful um 
bikini top. I'm literally obsessed with it. I think it is adorable and I'm not sure how the tying is going to go because like the back connects and then you just tie the bottoms. So I like how it comes with the adjustable straps too. So that might help. But in the past, I haven't had the best experience with it. Um, so we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I love the color. I got in a size lar large because I have a bigger chest. But for this one alone, it was $20, which is kind of crazy for like a top from Target, I think personally. But I'm going to try it on and see how it fits. I just think that I spend the money on these Target bathing suits just because they are such good quality. And then a lot of the bathing suits don't have like a cheeky thong bottom. They're more like a full on cheek and I don't really like that as much. So I found this one and it's definitely more cheeky in the back. But I like that for tanning purposes. So I got this one in a size medium. This is also the Wild Fable brand. Um, hopefully it's not too big. I might have to get like a small for the bottoms. But I thought these were really cute and I loved the coloring of them. So I thought that would be nice. Oh, and this one was $15. So, you know, kind of pricey. But I think it's average for bathing suits nowadays. 